Hey guys, it's Emma and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today is the start of another reading vlog and I'm so excited for this one because this is the beginning of the Bookie Trials which is a month long readathon hosted by Her Royal Highness Rachel Murray and I will link her down below. But as I am on um, Becca and the Books, um, the Marquise of Magi steam, uh, we get a three day head start so it is June 28th and I will be starting today. I'm not going to be going through my full TBR right now. Um, if I do want to do it later I'll just insert that footage now but otherwise just look at the link in this corner and the card for this and it'll take you right to my TBR. But yes the first book is for Orc Grove. Read a book that's gritty, gory, or gruesome and I'll be reading Vengeful by V.E. Schwab. I read Vicious last um, year at like literally the end of the year, like December 31st I finished it. But yeah, so I loved it and I've been really meaning to go back into this world. So I'm super stoked. I also know there's a bunch of new characters involved. So that's gonna be super cool. And I'm making my sister read the first one right now so it'll be cool to read this and then I think she'll maybe want to pick this up. I am about to be going to the beach tomorrow so we're going to be there from Saturday to Saturday so I don't know if this video is going to be just the weekend or a weekend in the week. Uh, I'm not really sure yet. It depends on how much footage I get but I will be in a house with a lot of people so we'll see how much I film. But yes, so I'm about to go outside. I think and start reading this I am going to be annotating it but yeah I show I had a different system for vicious so I've sort of tweaked it a little bit so I put it on here but I think I'm gonna try it out like annotating first and then I'll let you guys know if I because I might change things so that's just how it is for now US women are also playing France right now in a soccer game so I kind of want to stay inside but I won't I'm gonna go enjoy this nice weather and our newly cleaned back porch. So I got a thrift books order and I'm gonna show you guys what it is. Let's get it out in one hand. I'm really nervous though because it seems like it's a different size than the other one. But I got Landline by Rainbow Rowell. Wow, they're really trying to sell this for $18.74. Um, no, I got it for like three or four dollars. Oh my gosh. They said this is very new, but there's literally stuff all over it. Ew. So, I'm gonna clean this up and I'll show you guys me putting it away. I'm really annoyed because they said this is a very, this I ordered very new. Does this look very new? And like, like yeah, that's okay, but like the top's messed up too. On the front, you can't really see, but like in person, you can see it's like dented and stuff. Like, there's stuff on the front, like there, that I can't scratch off. Like, excuse me, I paid a very new price for this, and it's not. So it is now Saturday and we are about to head to the beach so I haven't done any reading because we've been packing the car and we're still packing the car and then we have like a while to get there and then unpack and set up the house so I'll probably not get to reading until like afternoon-ish so we'll see how much I get done. I ended up reading 75 pages of Vengeful last night. Really enjoyed it. And yeah, I gotta go out back because they're gonna hate me. Hey y'all, so we are now on day two. It is almost six o'clock already. I didn't get to read really a lot because today because I have been unpacking and setting up the beach house. Um, I'll give you guys a tour later. That'd make this vlog interesting. But yes, so I am reading Vengeful by V.E. Schwab. Like I explained earlier, I just told you guys what the promises were and everything. I am annotating it and I have 
a different system, but I'll explain it to you right now. So I use these five color tabs that I get from Walmart. It's literally like a dollar, dollar twenty for five. So for this system, I'm using blue for introductions to new characters, green for shocking slash important moments in the book, yellow for quotes because the Schwab does some great quotes, and pink for love, love the scene, love his characters. Haven't used these yet, but we'll see. And orange is theory. So for right now, the most I have is green because I think a lot of scenes are important, you know? So I'm gonna do a little flip through for you guys. So like, here's an example of the yellow one. It's not even spoiling because it's on the first page, but while seeking revenge, to two graves, one for yourself. That was fun. And then the other yellow one I have, but again, this isn't really a spoiler. The thing about mistakes was that they weren't always big or obvious. Sometimes they were simple, small. The decision to keep walking, the turn left instead of right, those few extra steps in the wrong direction. So yeah. But like I said, it's mostly green for important. I do have one theory, but like, it's kind of obvious. And the new characters we're getting introduced to. But yeah, I'm gonna get back to reading. Hey guys, so while everyone is out on the beach or out, I will update you guys on my reading. It is now a little after eight, and I'm still obviously reading Vengeful. I am now 182 pages in, and I am really enjoying it. Um, I don't know. It's really good. I it, it hasn't been. At, I feel like it's not the five star off the bat that Vicious was. It's really good. Don't get me wrong. It's at least a four but i don't know and there hasn't been as many like quotes where i was like oh my god or anything so that's just that i'm i don't know i'm really enjoying it i've read over 100 pages today and i'm hoping to get more done but hey guys so i'm gonna do this really quickly because i forgot to talk about my reading today and it's almost midnight and i was literally asleep and then i woke up to do this but i am close to the end of Vicious, or not Vicious, Eventful. I have been tabbing this up a lot, as you guys can see. I am now on like the second to last part, so you know everything's sort of coming to a head. And I have just over a hundred pages of this, so I'm hoping that if I'm not as busy as I've been, which is just from watching and taking care of the kids and stuff for my dad, my stepmom, and the other adults here. I will get some time to read this. I did read another 130 pages today, so not too shabby, but I was hoping to finish a book at least in the three-day lead the mages had um, and the book junkie, trial, book junkie Trials, but unfortunately that's not gonna be the case because it's basically almost the first of July. So everyone will be catching up, but it's okay. I am really proud because this is um, almost 500 page book and it's very dense and with all my distractions. Like I went out earlier to a bar this afternoon randomly because my dad was there and I just went and joined them. And I came back tipsy so I couldn't really read for a little bit. So we're having to, it's vacation. We're trying to have fun, but yeah. So I'm going to try to finish this tomorrow. I don't know if I will. I'm hoping, because I read, I brought five books, so I was trying to read a lot, but yeah, so this is going to be the first book, obviously, that I complete, which will be Orc Grove, and then the second book, oh gosh, oh, is Old Pirate Cove, which will be Daughter of the Pirate King, which I'm pretty sure will go a lot faster than this, even though it's still like 300 and something pages, but I think that this, V.E. Schwab's writing is just denser, and I'm reading it more because I'm in analytical, because I'm like tabbing it, so, I don't know, okay, I feel like I'm rambling because I'm half asleep, but you know, we're just gonna go to bed, I'll see you guys tomorrow, bye. Hey y'all, so, it is a little before noon on Monday, July 1st, so it's officially the first day of the book jockey trials, so good luck to everyone who's participating, I hope you guys are, uh, but yeah, um, 
And if you still want to join, uh, Rachel just <laughs> tweeted that if you want to join, all you have to do is instantly put up your TBR and use books that you haven't already started. Um, but yeah, I'll leave a link to the Twitter account for it for all the information. But yes, <laughs> unfortunately I'm still reading Ventral. I really wanted to be done this by now, but things happen. I just took a shower, as you can see by the wet hair. Um, I'm not a big uh, ocean beach person because I don't like sand and stuff, but there's a lot of people here. But yeah, I am on page 371, so I have just over 100 pages left. I think I said that last night. <laughs> but yeah, so I am going to read this for a little before I make lunch and then read more. I'm going to show you guys the view right now because it's a beautiful day here. That's my family right there. I literally all I have to do is just walk around here and go over. But like I said, I'm a fan of the sand. It's really not that warm. I'm actually a little chilly, but you know. It's hey guys, so I just finished Vengeful. Um, and I thought this was a duology. But this ended on a bit of a cliffhanger. And then I look on Goodreads and it says book three with no picture literally no information no release date now i'm nervous because uh the first book came out in 2013 this came out in 2018 that's a five year difference i'm not trying to wait until 2023 for book three uh i really enjoyed it i tapped it a lot i'm giving it a four star it was really solid i really enjoyed it i just think that the first book was better. So yeah, um, maybe I'll come back and talk to you guys when I have more thoughts. Of, wow, this was $34 in Canada. I'm so sorry, Canadians. That's really annoying. In 26 in America, I did not buy this. I think it was like, I, I got put it on my Amazon wishlist and my aunt bought it for me, but I think it was like $17, which is still a lot. But yes, love it. Love the Schwab, and I'm definitely wanting to pick up more of her works because I enjoyed this series so much so far but yeah I'm gonna take a little bit of a brain break because I just powered through the last like 80 or so pages of this so I'm gonna take a little break watch some YouTube and then I will pick up Daughter of the Pirate King but we have our first challenge done for our mage path and we only have four more to one more to go for that. Don't know what I'm doing. Hey guys, so it's now almost 10.30 and I have started and got a good way through Daughter of the Pirate King by Trisha Levenseller. This is the book that I'm reading for uh, Old Pirate Cove, which is to read a book that features the sea, which obviously they're pirates, they're on the sea. But yeah, this is a pretty short book. It's only 311 pages, and I'm on page 109. It's very uh, quick read because the font is really big, so it's reading really fast, which I appreciate. I literally just put on the dust jacket for this clip, so I'm going to take that off before it gets ruined. So far, so good. I mean, I can already tell it's like a cliche romance about to happen, but it's cool. It's, you know, it's a quick, fun pirate story. I'm excited to see where it goes. I read the first 100 pages. I mean, I got distracted a lot, but probably only took me an hour or less. So, yeah, I read like 50 pages in like... 20 to 30 minutes so it wasn't that bad so I'm going to try to read some of this tonight I don't know if I will because I just hit my head because my, si my sister pushed me into uh my stairs that sounds really bad but like we we're joking around and she pushed me and I fell into the stairs so yeah so that really hurts so I put some ice on it but I think it I'll just 
wasn't gonna come bring that up to bed so yeah so I'm gonna try to read some but if it hurts or anything I'm just gonna be watching YouTube but I will catch with up with you guys tomorrow where I hope to finish this off and start my next book So it's now Tuesday, July 2nd, and I've just finished my second book for the Book Junkie Trials. So that's really exciting. So I finished Daughter of the Pirate King by Trisha Levenseller, which worked for Old Pirate Road, which was to read a book that takes place at least in part on the sea. And this whole thing takes place on the sea because they're on pirate ships. But yeah, um, it was very short. And also, I think I should do this already, but like the writing is really big but yeah overall I was really surprised by how much I enjoyed this I kept wanting to pick it up and I was very engaged which has been something I haven't been recently I haven't been very like I haven't wanted to pick up books like when I put them down I just pick them up because like I want to read if that makes any sense but yeah um overall I really enjoyed this I gave it four stars I thought it was really engaging like yeah it's sort of like you know he's got this typical YA tropes and stuff but I don't know our main character also um Elosa which is really headstrong and independent and intelligent and was very smart about how she maneuvered her way into and out of situations and which I thought was really cool and yeah I'm really excited to move on to the sequel I don't know when that will be but yeah but if it's still like really cheap on Amazon. I highly recommend you guys get this book. Like I said, I think I paid $6 for it and I really enjoyed it. And you can get it off my library too, but like it's cheap. But yes, yeah, so now that I've finished this, I'm going to take a little break um, because the Women's uh, FIFA World Cup is about to come on in like an hour and we are in the semifinals. It is US versus England. So it's gonna be a big game so I'm probably gonna watch that and then well I'm not gonna watch it like the whole time I'm just gonna have it on and watch it from time to time because I get bored recently um, and I will be reading my book my third book for the book Jokey trials which is for glimmer to read a beautiful or colorful book and I will be reading the illustrated edition of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone which I was just talking to someone earlier about, but like I literally don't remember the last time I read Harry Potter. Like, I don't know if I read it more than once. Which is weird because I've read Twilight like two or three times, so like I hope I've read it more than once. I don't know. But yeah, so I'm really excited to get into a reread. I was hoping to annotate editions as well, but I do not have my own editions. Um in order to annotate so I think I'm just gonna read it and then reread and annotate it like next year or something because I would like to annotate uh but yeah okay this clip's getting long but bye Okay, so I just read the first chapter of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. I don't know if you're able to read that. But yeah, um, and I didn't remember most of it, to be honest. This is kind of like, I have a really bad memory. I don't know why. So I don't remember. I mean, I remember obviously most of it, and I've seen like the movies a million times. But I don't remember the last time I read it. So it's going to be interesting seeing the differences. Um, but yeah, so I did read the first chapter, which was 13 of these, like, huge pages, but this is, it's so heavy, 246 pages, so we will be seeing when I, <sighs> when I get to it. I'm watching the FIFA World Cup, and I just don't put this, I uh, muted it to do this, and now it's tied. We were leading 1-0, now it's 1-1, one, one. but I was waiting for a commercial to up you but I'm like are there not commercials I don't know also that was my dog whining I don't know if you saw her she's 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 chilling 
she's mad at everyone else at the beach. But yes, so I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish this today because it's already after three. But this is my goal for the next like two days or something. I don't know. I'm loving the illustrations. So that's really cool to see. But yeah. Um, but I'm also reading this because I obviously for the book Ducky Trials. But also I'm trying to read one illustrated edition a month because I have the first three uh, that I got in a box set for Christmas in anticipation for the fourth book coming out in illustrated edition in October. So yeah. But then I'll just have to go on with the non-illustrated ones. But it's okay. But yeah, so I'm gonna get back to watching this game because it just got a lot crazier since we're tied 1-1. One, one. Okay, so I came outside to update you guys, but I was gonna go on the back porch or the other way, but then my sister was coming up and it looks like they're bringing stuff to set up for dinner and, you know, get off the beach. So I came out this way, but there's like people literally right there. So. <sighs> uh, but yes, I came out because I have finished Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone by J.K. Rowling. This is the illustrated edition, illustrated by Jim K. It was gorgeous. Uh, I've never read this illustrated edition before, so it was really cool getting to see things. I've seen a little bit, it's really big plane. I don't even know if you can hear it, it's really loud. The beach, you know? Uh, but yeah, it was really great to see the illustrations I had seen. Like, I looked through them a little bit, but I didn't really see them until reading it. I'm getting judged by my sibling. Okay, but yes, I really enjoyed my reread. This, I think I've literally read Harry Potter once. I was trying to figure this out. She's staring at me. I hate my awkwardness. Shh. Go away. She's smiling and making fun of me. Go away. I have to cut all this out. Okay. Anywho. Uh, P.S. I really enjoyed this. I did notice that there was a lot of, like, not a lot, but a lot of, like, tiny differences between this and the movie, and I think this is actually the Philosopher's Stone because there was a lot of Britishisms and, like, things that I think are in the British version. So, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. But yes. Uh, okay. So, now that everyone's home, um, everyone's coming home. I'm gonna make this really quick because they're all gonna be coming in the door and judging me, and especially because my sister has two friends. I'm here, so yeah. But now that I finished this, this was for my third uh, place on the map for the Mage Path, which was Glimmer. Read a beautiful or colorful book. Both. But yes. So next we will be moving on to uh, Dragon Isle, which is to read a book that features dragons obviously um and for that i'll be reading the graphic novel the tea dragon society so i'll probably finish that tonight as well and update you guys later when i do okay i'm gonna go inside because i'm having really bad social anxiety okay bye hey y'all so it is now almost 10 p.m on wednesday still and i have another reading update for you so i don't have the book with me because i left it downstairs because i let one of the family like the kids who is staying with us for this vacation uh basically see if she wants to read this book but i just finished the tea dragon society by katie o'neill of an hour or two ago and i really enjoyed it it was my first like graphic novel i've read in like years and i've only read like one other graphic novel so i don't really know how to rate it or review it but like the story was cute, there was handicap rep, there was um, LGBTQ rep, all over the place. We love that. Um, but yeah, it's just it was cute. I don't know. I gave it four stars because I really don't know. Like I said, I don't know how to rate graphic novels. I don't know how I would rate them. I think it's just something that I have to read more and then develop my taste. But I did really enjoy the art style. It was really cute yeah 
Um, I know that there is the second one coming out. It's called like the Tea Dragon Festival, which, you know, I might pick up. I'm not sure. But yeah, that's it. Uh, I don't know. I just realized that I have not been updating any of the books that I've read into my library thing. So I've read like a few books since then, but I don't know if this one counts because in my library, it had the Tea Dragon Society in the children's section. Please tell me, is it children's or is it YA? Because I thought this whole time it was YA. I don't know, but I just gave the book to a seven-year-old, so who knows? But yeah, okay, this is getting long, so I'm gonna go and I will see you guys tomorrow morning where I will start Stardust by Neil Gaiman. Hey guys, so it is now Thursday, the 4th of July. Wow, my dog just moved because she heard me move. Sorry, Callie. Uh, excuse my hair humidity on the beach it's hot um but yes i picked up the fifth and final book for my mage path which is stardust by neil gaiman and i am i am 72 pages into this already it's all right i'm like really having to force myself to get through this because i don't want to read it but uh, i'm just sort of watching reading this and then rewarding myself by watching are you the one uh, last season because I'm all caught up on this season so whatever uh, but yes this story is about this guy named Tristan who is like not in love but he likes this girl because she's pretty and she's like making fun of him saying she won't kiss him whatever and then they see a shooting star like fall and she's like and he was like, what if I get you that star? Will you kiss me and marry me then? And she was like, yeah, of course. Like, blah, like he's not going to get it. And so he goes off on a magical journey to get the star. That's basically it. And it's okay. I think it's a movie, if I'm remembering correctly. But I've never seen it. But I think it would be one of those things that's probably better as a movie. I don't know. It's only 240-something pages. So, like, I'm already, like, 25% through or whatever. So, I can't DNF it, obviously, because it's part of the readathon. It's the, this is for uh, the Bookie Grail Read the Group book, which is obviously Stardust. But, yeah, um, it's just not my cup of tea. I don't think Neil Gaiman is my cup of tea, but I don't know. This is the only thing I've read by him so far, but I just don't know. I have no interest. But yeah, okay, I'm gonna keep reading. Actually, I'm gonna watch Are You the One and then take another reading break because I just earned Are You the One. And then they, oh no, I'm saying they look farther away. Oh my god, live they in the looks, moment, people. They look so small. It's just a blur of lights. Mm -hmm. Like, There's you can't something. even see. Oh, over there. I'm gonna drop my phone. Where's the guys? Oh, you got the Fun! Um, oh. oh, that's way too easy. <laughs> They are over there. I hear all that cave. I'm already over it. Oh, there's some way over there. Yeah. Oh, nice. Place. We love it. Yes. Hey. Hey, YouTube. So <laughs> like, subscribe, and comment that you love pizza sauce. Not pizza, not cheese, and not bread, but pizza oh. sauce. <laughs> sauce. <laughs> Hey guys, so it's now Saturday evening. I'm sorry, I have to talk really quietly because my brother is literally on the other side of the wall sleeping, so I'm just gonna try to turn off the volume or I'll just redo this clip. But yeah, yesterday was our last full day at the beach and we went into Newburyport, uh, which is like a city and has like a bunch of shops. So we were there like basically for a lot of the day. Then I had to babysit all of the kids. <laughs> um, well, the parents went out to dinner and drinking and stuff, so I didn't get to read until today, and I literally just finished Stardust by Neil Gaiman. Um, I gave it three stars. It's kind of in between the two, and I, th I mean, it's not, the thing is, there was nothing necessarily wrong about this book. It just, 
didn't <laughs> capture my attention. I read it, and it's really short, so I really should have flown through it, but it took me, was that three days? Um, but yeah, I just didn't, never wanted to pick it up. I'm, I flew through the last, like, 70 pages today. Not flew through, it took me all day. But I pieced it out, <laughs> rewarding myself with videos. But yeah, this was just not for me. I feel like I understand why this was made into a movie. And I can see the merit in that. And I can see if you're someone who likes, like, fairy tales and, like, stuff, like, into the woods or even, not really Monty Python, it's not funny, but that's, like, kind of what this reminds me of. But, like, that's just not what I really like. So, yeah, it just wasn't, I wasn't, I don't think I was in the right place for it. But I had to read it because this was the fifth and final book for my mage path which is the boogie grail to read the group book which is stardust by no gay men so yeah so i finished the mage path which is great which means i can go on to the remaining 12 prompts that i have and i wasn't gonna go th for all of them because i didn't know if i would have time or whatever but it's only the 6th of july so we have math one second how many days from july 31 so we still have 25 days left to read 12 prompts so we'll see how many we can get done but yeah i will catch up with you guys tomorrow i know i have a bunch of errands to run tomorrow because i start work on monday so i need to like have all my like meal prepping done and like buy the groceries for no meal prep and like do laundry and stuff. So like I don't know how much I'll be able to read, but I'm excited to be able to start something that I'll hopefully love. Hey guys, so it's now Sunday afternoon. I spent the morning doing errands, getting stuff to make, um, to meal prep my lunches, which I'm going to have to do later. And also watching the Women's FIFA World Cup because we won. But yeah, who, who would have thought it was? But yes, so I think the next book that I'm going to pick up is Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare. This is the third book in the Infernal Devices trilogy. And I've been anticipating this. So I'm very excited about this. But yeah, so this can work for multiple things. But I think I'm going to put it as Forgotten Forest read um the next book in a series so yes this is a chunker um this is how many pages so let's find out um is that the ending that's that blog okay this this book is 568 pages, so I'm really excited. This is, also I got this for $3, or I got it for Christmas, but I got it for $3 from the paper store. And look, it's got even the City of Bones movie sticker on it. I haven't actually seen that, but maybe I should watch it. The show, I've seen part of the show, so I don't know. Okay, I'm blabbing now, but yeah, I'm going to sit out on the hammock and read this and annotate it so yeah hey y'all please excuse my hair and the fan if you can hear it but it is hat but I'm coming to let you know that I've read 103 pages of Clockwork Princess I feel like I just fly through Cassandra Clare's writing so I really appreciate that because I was feeling a little bit slumpy while reading um, Stardust so I think being back with characters and an engaging story is really helping so I yeah, read that I'm obviously annotating these if you didn't know I am annotating the entire Shadowhunter Chronicles and all that stuff so that's what I have right now yellow is important moments pink is moments that I love um, orange is like 
Shadow Hunter information and stuff like that. I would say history too, like it's all sort of different things. And then green is introduction to new characters. So yeah, we're having some fun. Uh, this is a chunker. It's a little less than 600 pages, I think. But considering I just read 100 pages fairly quickly, I know I can read this pretty quickly. But yes, I have my first day of work because I um, work as a special ed assistant um and then like for now <laughs> you don't need to know but either way the summer session starts tomorrow so i have to be up at like 6 30 so i won't be staying up too late reading and it's already after seven and i still have to eat dinner and take a shower so i don't know how much more reading i'm gonna get in i want to get at least to the 150 page mark um but yes i have i have made a dent so that's good. Hey guys, it's now Monday late afternoon. I just got back from work and I thought I would update you on all of the reading that I did this week and just sort of wrap up this vlog. Okay, so first I read Ventful by the e. Schwab, which I gave a four out of five stars. I really enjoyed it. I just don't think it was as good as Vicious and just didn't have the same punch and I think it suffered from middle book syndrome a little bit but it's still really good and then secondly I read Daughter of the Pirate King by Trisha Levenseller and I gave that four stars as well I was really surprised by how much I enjoyed it it was fun quick easy read with like large font so it was super easy to get through and I sped through it highly recommend it for especially for like summer it's a very fun summer read then third Third, I read the illustrated edition of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, which I, of course, gave five stars. Harry Potter, love it. Can't wait to go back and once I get, um, like, copies that I can annotate in and annotate. Uh, then I read The Tea Dragon Society by Katie O'Neill. I still don't really know what to give this because it's a children's graphic novel, so I don't really know. So I just said a four star, but I'm not really sure. And then lastly... I finished the um, the group book, which is Stardust, by Neil Gaiman, and I gave that three stars. It wasn't really my thing, but it wasn't horrible. And then yesterday I got to page 138 in Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare. This is me going off the Mage Path for the first time since I finished the Mage Path. And this will be probably for Forgotten Forest Rita sequel. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I will see you guys next week with the new reading vlog. Bye!